Hello Divine Feminine, so this is your reading for this week, okay, so this is February 20th, and um, I'm still running a special, the Valentine's Day special, for $22 a reading, and your second reading is $17, only for the month of February, okay, so let me call on my higher self and my spirit guides to guide and protect me in this reading um, and to let me be aware of the message that's being given to me for the divine feminine twin flame divine partnership um, for the the uh, for divine feminines that are um, walking and taking this journey um, this is for you, or if you just happen to tune into my channel, um, go ahead and take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, this is a very spiritual um, channel. Um, so this is a general reading for divine feminines all around the world. Um, we want to see the, the current energy of the Divine Feminine, as well as um, we want to see um, what she wants, okay, um, what's helping the Divine Feminine, what's her obstacles, her challenges, and we're going to see the possible outcome for the Divine Feminine, okay. Wow, so this card just wants to pop out. So this is um, the Ace of Pentacles, okay? This is a, a grounded energy. This is about um, starting something new, bringing something to life, um, a new job. This could be um, something in the 3D, okay? Something that the universe has given you. So um, it's saying don't miss it because this is a new opportunity, Divine Feminines, and it's headed your way. Okay, so the first um, set here is... Um, for the Divine Feminine, we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, so the Ten of Wands is about um, a heavy burden, something weighing heavily on your shoulders. Um, but this is a Ten, okay? And a Ten is also an ending to fill in this burden, okay, to a new beginning. So perhaps the Divine Feminine is having this heavy burden on her shoulders because of the lovers. And this is... Um, an alchemy marriage right here with this card um, this is when two people come together and that they, they really learn each other they're not being watched with the angel above they're just being themselves and pure and um, they're being themselves and they're learning each other and they're learning each other's ways and um, it's about um, you know, blending the two of cups together and having this alchemy of love and relationship and commitment. So this is probably why the Divine Feminine has a heavy burden on her shoulders because she's learning from her Divine Masculine and she is growing from that. Okay, so what's, um, what's helping the Divine Feminine? Well, again, we have a zero. Um, so this is an ending to fill in a burden and this is pure innocence, pure, um, the pureness of thought, the pureness of love. Um, this is the start of your journey, Divine Feminine. This is um, something that you want to get off the ground. This is something that you want to um, take off. Um, you want to start a new life with. 
So this could be your divine masculine that you are seeking uh, the commitment with. And um, I see that this is helping you. Having this thought of just, you know, taking that um, step and moving towards what you desire, this new life, and you're, feel, you're full of pure innocence and joy. And um, so um, this is about, you know, um, starting a journey, um, taking that first step. This is about lifting it off, you know, starting off, going for it. Okay, so then we have what's challenging. So you have this heavy burden on your back, Divine Feminine. And um, yes, um, Source is testing you, is testing your faith. Um, with this journey, seeing how far um, you can go with it. Um, so, um, this is the Hierophant, and this is about testing your fate, testing your fate on this journey um, that you're taking as a fool. Now, in this card, this is about, this is the Page of Swords. So, um, this is the possible outcome. You're having a lot of stuff coming at you, being thrown at you, possibly with this partnership, um, with this journey, taking it on, you know. Um, there is a sense for of how much you can cope within yourself before you can ask for help. Okay, Divine Feminine. Okay, so in this deck right here, in this row, we have, um, okay, so perhaps, Divine Feminine, perhaps you have done some sneaky things behind someone's back, behind Divine Masculine's back. Um, perhaps there are some things that are going around um, that people are saying or doing that are, you know, deceitful, that are... Um, you know, um, just being sneaky behind one's back. And this could be you, Divine Feminine, or this could be the Divine Masculine. Let's pull a clarifier, please. So it's like, you know, you're being sneaky. You're wanting to hold things close to you. Um, so there's possibly some properties that you have that are very sentimental to you. Um, and here, you know, he's holding on tightly to um, this pinnacle to his heart. So you might be um, sneaky, but you're doing it in a good way. And this is all, you know, a heavy burden to you because you can't keep it a secret anymore. And this could possibly be um, your love for your Divine Masculine that you're holding on tightly for. And you're not releasing your emotions to him, okay? So then we have <clears throat> your desires, what you want. So you want to help. You're wanting to give. You're wanting to give with the Divine Masculine. You're wanting to give your um, your shares. Your, um, you know, it's like this. You're holding on tightly to them and you're being sneaky. But really, Divine Feminine, I see that you are wanting to share them with your Divine Masculine. You, um, um, this is the six. This is also a six right here. Um, of the lovers. This is about sharing and caring and giving. Okay. So I see that um, you do want to. Now what's helping you Divine Feminine is, <clears throat> you know, you're starting off on this journey as the fool, but you're also here standing your ground with Divine Masculine. You're not backing down, you know. That's why you're holding on to your possessions tight. That's why you're holding on to your feelings and your emotions and the things that you want to help with the Divine Masculine because you want to see what the Divine Masculine is going to do. So, but this is helping you, you know. You're standing your ground. You're standing, you're, you're keeping your boundaries put, okay. So what's challenging is um, your fate is being tested with the Divine Masculine here. So it's almost like the Divine Masculine is um, having some sort of um, domination over you, Divine Feminine. And um, with that being said, it's um, uh, with the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is short-lived. This is something, this could be something that was rudely said by the Divine Masculine or um, by someone um, 
to you, Divine Feminine. And now that your faith is being tested and it's being challenged, can you give me a clarifier for the Five of Swords, please, Spirit? Just one chord, please, Spirit. One chord, please. Five of Swords, one chord. This one wants to show. Okay, so, again, you know, um, what's helping you? You're, you're standing up to your Divine Masculine, okay? And, um, again, uh, these are both the same cards. So, it's, it's like these two are the same cards. So, it's a very strong energy um, that, you know, you're standing up towards your Divine Masculine and that you're keeping your boundaries with him because you do not want him to run you over and run you down okay divine feminine and so therefore your faith is being tested now um, we have the ten of cups here and this is divine masculine divine feminine coming together you know this is after you know they have learned each other and they have um put their disputes behind them okay this is a possible outcome and this is where you know um divine feminine you ask for the help uh, like i can't cope with this i can't do this can we please be fair with each other and be honest and the two come together in harmony and it's full of joy and full of emotions and full of content and happiness okay so um Let's go down with the second row here. So we have in the middle, <clears throat> in the middle, let me just pull this back a little. In the middle here we have um, the seven of wands. And you know, this is about standing up for yourself. Um, standing up for yourself and it's almost like divine feminine you're gonna have to ask for help you know you've been doing so much work and it's a heavy burden and um, I feel like this is not a heated conflict yet okay this is just learning from each other um, just like the lovers would do you know they would learn from each other and understand each other's ways so that they can come together in full harmony and emotions and bliss and this is about, you know, being grounded, you know, not only standing up for yourself, but being in the warmth of the sun and the energy that shines down on both of you, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. For no matter what, um, this is loving within. Um, this is about um, two people coming together and just loving the souls of each other as within, without. Okay? So, um... I think that is very beautiful. Um, can I get a clarifier for the uh, five of wands, please? Um, please, for it. can I get a clarifier for the five of wands? So this is about change. This is the will of fortune. This is fate. This is timing. This is supposed to happen. This is karma coming back at you in a good way. What you put in is what you... Uh, will get out so if you have done well and um, on your journey you can expect good things to come back so if you are asking for help divine feminine it will come to you things will change divine masculine will be there for you okay I just wanted to put that out there um, so now I'm going to pull some um, I'm going to pull some cards here see um for the divine feminine so this is for divine feminine all around the world this is a general reading um so can i get some advice for divine feminine what's going on with divine feminine please spirit let's get some cards for her Okay, so Divine Feminine, you are um, you are building blocks <clears throat> and making a strong foundation. So after the tower falls, 
this is about um, karmic relationships, you know, and learning from your karmic relationships as well. Sometimes your twin flame can be a karmic, but that's only to help you grow and to help each other grow. And um, this is about um, building blocks and building a strong foundation around, um, excuse me, around your relationship with Divine Masculine. This is about, you know, um, you two coming together and, um, you know, having a strong foundation, a strong relationship. This is you two um, stepping out from behind the mask like the owl here and being that person who you really are and very opening up to one another, opening yourself up and expressing your love to each other, okay? But this is also about, you know, being flexible with each other, being flexible in the here and now, and, you know, um, about understanding. And you see how this person is almost doing a back bend on this um, egg? So this is like, you know, giving birth to new ideas as well as letting them grow and being flexible uh, with your partner, okay, Divine Feminine? So what I want to do is um, pull one card for Divine Feminine um, from the Oracle of Visions here. And this is a card, um, it's going to be this one right here. Okay, so this is number 18. So um, this is about nourishing something to its full potential. And then it's like, this is almost like testing your fate, you know. It's like you're being tested by fate. So let me read what this card says. Nurturing, taking care of others. It says, when you are a mother, you are never really alone in your thoughts. A mother always has to think twice, once for herself and once for her child. This card may represent the nurturing nature of a mother embracing her child, a teacher guiding his students, or a master training his apprentice. Each balance the desires to protect and provide direction to those under his or her care, with the need to also allow room for personal growth. We can prepare them, inform them, advise them that eventually there will come the moment when we will need to resist the impulse to reach out and instead must let them fall. When they rise again to their own accord, we can take comfort in knowing that we taught them well. So this is about, you know, this could be about your inner child and, um, you know, um, being that fool and taking that leap of faith. This could also be about, you know, helping your divine masculine um, and to a certain point within. So this is very beautiful. Um, so I wanted to, to tell you that I do have my pendulum here and... Um, I don't know if anybody knows about pendulums, but they kind of work with the energy within the person who is holding it, which um, would be me. And um, whenever you get a reading, a personal reading, um, if you would like a direct answer, um, I can do that for you. But um, this is a pendulum and it works very well and I do use it and it's very accurate. And um, so if you would like um, a personal reading or um, to book a session, go ahead and email me. My email is in the description below. And please have a nice week. Thank you all so very much. Namaste.